adjustment too. Advantage of what? Where sometimes I'm just too lazy to do it correctly. So, we're doing it all wrong. Hey, it's Friday. You're leaving on Monday. I think we have time to make two dresses, one for you, one for me, completely from scratch and hand paint them into unique, wonderful, and wearable works of art. Okay, let's go shopping. For this project, you're going to need one sibling of your choice and three days when you're okay not sleeping very much. You're going to need to go shopping very, very fast, buy fabric very, very fast, get back home very, very fast, and wash it very, um, at normal speeds. Because the washing machine, it has so many options, but not that one. But the faster you can get to cutting out your pattern, the better. To keep racing through, I used a pattern that I had used several times before, even though it only mostly looked like what we wanted to make. We both wanted swooshier sleeves and swooshier skirts. Naomi wanted a different neckline, and I wanted a different length and a leg slit. But this pattern has never looked exactly like what I wanted to make and somehow it always works out so I just cut right into the fabric with confidence and gusto and all right time to cut up piece number two like a boss like someone that knows what they're doing they definitely know how scissors work Hey! Alright, so I cut pieces with mild trepidation, but it went basically perfectly except for two problems, which I don't think you should worry about because, well, I don't have a reason why you shouldn't worry, I just really don't want you to, and... If you don't have a pattern that you've used so many times that you've begun to anticipate an intervention, I suggest using one with princess seams. Which, as far as I know, are called that because they make you feel like a princess, and also eliminate the need to sew darts, which are annoying and a lot of work. And princesses can pass laws against annoying them or making them do work, but it does require that you cut more pieces than if you were just sewing darts, so we had three front pieces, three back pieces, times two because we were making two dresses, and then sleeves and some other things, and I counted twice just to make sure. To make these two dresses, you will need to cut out 19 specifically shaped pieces of fabric, which is not a very large number until it is. You know, you get partway through something and you're like, now is the time, I just want a robot to finish the rest of it. If you don't have access to a robot, a leprechaun helper would work as well. Or a couple of compliant clones. Or a fey contract with tiny yet life-altering consequences so long as you don't eat any of the food. But since we had neither the magic nor the technology, we used persistence. And talking, which helped a lot but did distract us and accidentally made the process longer, so this seems like a step that you shouldn't- should? Shouldn't skip. to do with that list right now was um, I was doing the three or four ahead but then changing plans in the middle of whatever I was currently working on to be like oh no I need to do this next because of the timing or I need to do this next because I want to so I just decided to not tease things that <laughs> are happening by a time summer <laughs> yeah I want to do Regency Snow White Arlen's black and red dress, a, like French sack back dress. That's where the conversation started. But for all of you with sisters, brothers, or other assorted siblings, you know that it ended up. Well, well yeah, but they, 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 they did. They murder charges. They didn't hate each other. They did not hate each other. So, like, in terms of like an actual wedding, it didn't work. But in terms of a, a Game of Thrones wedding, perfect. Yeah. <laughs> For those of you who are still stuck worrying about those two problems I said I ran into, even though I told you not to worry about them, I'm I'm sorry. I, I feel bad. Unknown things are scary. It's like when your person is like, do you have time to talk later? And then doesn't tell you what they want to talk about. So you just have to exist in a world where Schrodinger's cat is yowling in the next room or not yowling. You might be hearing things, but honestly, you don't have to worry. I ran into one problem on the very last two pieces I needed to cut out for my dress because I realized that I had bought just slightly too little fabric or made my dress just slightly too long if I wanted to cut everything out the easy way. Did you bring yourself off with something? Oh, I, I did this wrong. Um, the dude's gonna help you. Well, thank you, dude. Here, we'll make the dude outfit instead. Oh, my dude outfit. Oh, hey, dude. Come, come back. Your dude outfit was not done. <laughs> <laughs> Who likes doing things the easy way? I did it the moderately difficult way, and I see you've already met the second problem. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now you can blob. <laughs> See, now you're upside down, and you don't like it, right? <laughs> you don't care? You don't care. You work at home, and you're pretty cute. Thanks for waiting. <laughs> down the hammock. You're amazing and lovely, but kind of annoying. Why don't you go find Mr. H.H.? Show me your bow. I think I'm silly. No. <laughs> Do not recommend using cats as fabric weights. <laughs> no! That's fine. Uh, that's the opposite of fine. You have found the one place where these paws look down there. You can see down there. Once you've finished cutting out all your pieces, you can move on to step three, pinning everything together. Uh, please note that everything is a loose turn here. I, I don't mean that you should start pinning your lamp to your shoes to your coffee table. Actual step three, find two of the pieces you just cut out, make sure they belong next to each other and start pinning them together. Can you just do it? 
<laughs> I don't know, my interest view in some galaxy. I promise this galaxy does not have a hole of nothing that will eat you. There's not a shark man waiting in there to try and kill me, but really only to kill one of us and then wait for us to decide we don't want that. Yeah. Although in some ways, like if he is interested in the manner in which we approach death and the various ways a whole bunch of people will do it, then threatening death is mean is Yes. That was a reference to the Star Trek episode we watched the night before. If you understood any of that, um, I was going to Toshi Station to pick up some power converters. It's a dangerous business going out your door. I am Groot. Make it spin. Valar Margulis. I swear by my pretty floral bonnet, I will end you. Don't mind me. I'm just trying to summon the rest of the family. <laughs> I was like, there's needles on there? Thank you. Thank you. We started by pinning the side back pieces to the middle back and Neely clearly had been watching my videos because she perfectly reenacted how I show off two pinned together pieces and I... <laughs> when you run out of pins, I mean, when your first two pieces are ready, you can sew them together. We were using stretchy fabric so I decided to use my serger which makes stretchy seams. It also has the bonus features of going very very fast, employing two sharp needles, and also wielding a teeny tiny lightning speed knife. I asked Naomi if she wanted to serge it because it was her dress and I didn't want to take the fun away from her and she said, Is this a trick question? Actually, she said she would watch me do it a couple times before she gave it a try, which I thought was a really reasonable request. So we pinned the other side back piece to the middle back and I searched some more. It's for safety. Well, I want to be unsafe. That's not safe. Just let me live my life more. We pinned the first front side piece to the middle front and then Naomi took her fate into her own hands and the knife part went fine. Naomi did an excellent job because she followed the two most important rules. Watch carefully and never run with sergers, but why does it look like we were using two different color threads here? Serious question, I do not have an answer. I was trying to figure out which side I was on. I don't know if the right away. I think it's about which side gets the most hot. Do you have such a difference? No. <laughs> we pinned and surged to the other side of the front. More pinning, more surging. I'm pretty sure we're sewing the sides together here, but there's only six seams in the main body of this dress and I'm still losing track. I lost track while I was sewing too. Totally sent Naomi to go try on her dress at some point when I thought we had it mostly together and she came back laughing like, nope, we can't do it. We forgot about shoulders. This is gonna be like the most summer dress that ever summers. There's like nothing to this. So like, careful, don't hurt yourself. Okay, I'm sure. Just a little more pinning and a little more surging. But just for reference, I did go through about 400 yards of thread just surging my dress. So it was maybe a little bit more than a little bit more. Ha! Ah. <laughs> Mr. Wu, what are you sitting on? <laughs> okay. Late Saturday night, miraculously on schedule, we finished up the sewing, just actually stitching up the shoulders, turning the sleeves into tubes and attaching them at the through to boodles, sewing on the facings and the bindings and hemming both dresses up. Which brought us directly to step seven, dressing your sewing mannequin in a fashionable plastic bag and then layering your finished dress on top. <laughs> It's time for grubby clothes and running away from any carpeted floors because they're just too easy to ruin with paint. Assuming that you didn't fall in love with your dress already and decide to call it quits before you ruined it with paint. Which of course you didn't because I didn't because I was too busy racing a clock which is always thrilling and confusing. You may want to take the time to do a little test painting though. I, I will admit I don't know what I learned from this but it seemed to really help Naomi. Depending on where exactly you would like to put paint on your dress you might also consider laying it out on the floor with as few wrinkles as possible and folding yourself up like a little gremlin to hover close enough to paint all over the floor. <laughs> Not really, I promise. I checked later. But while you're down there, you can ask yourself, what's my plan? Because it is now early Sunday afternoon and Naomi is leaving on Monday afternoon and paint has this annoying but unerasable trait where you have to let it dry before you can wear it unless you're really okay with it smearing everywhere and like becoming part of the art piece yourself. But if you want to be able to wear the dress tomorrow, you really have to finish painting it by midnight or else you'll turn into a pumpkin and smell awful because it turns out the spice part is actually the good part. Pumpkins mostly smell like a fish. I can't believe no one told me that until I was three decades old. So what is the plan? It's 
obviously, to draw thousands of silver and blue dots in a vague vine-like shape, and then hundreds of little leaves shooting off in every direction. Because dots and leaves are small, and probably won't take more than eight hours? Let's see how long it takes my hand to get tired. And don't ask me how I got here, because I don't actually know. This was not the original plan, and I still like the original plan, so that makes no sense. But I must have just gotten pulled into another one of those mad little vortexes of doing small, repetitive tasks that seem to break into this dimension and swallow me whole every once in a while. I feel like I just caught a premonition of my future, and it's oddly relaxing. You seem very pleased. I I did the thing on the sleeve, and it worked. <laughs> Yay! If you did not choose the floor gremlin approach, then I assume you also chose to draw intricate, interconnected lines. Because that's what Naomi did. She took inspiration from some metal work on the internet, which I can't find now, so you're gonna have to trust me that it was really pretty, and Naomi reimagined it into paint, like some kind of wizard. Which I assume is a superpower you can get from holding an art degree, but I only got the weird power where I can swear and only 2,000 year old zombies will understand me. It's pretty useless. Like all good artists, Naomi's main concern was weight, balance, symmetry, and the fine application of sugar gel Weights. It's gonna be like right handed on the right side. Marshmallow. I can only assume that this is code for why is the hardest thing about drawing trying to do the same thing twice? If you're not looking for general advice about making things and you don't like it when I stop telling bad jokes, skip forward about 20 seconds because I... I feel like this, this recovery process is both the thing that I struggle with the most and also is the most important thing when it comes to being happy with what you make. Because I don't think you can hand make something with zero mistakes. You can make mistakes that other people won't see or maybe you can do a massive cover up job so there isn't technically a mistake anymore but you'll always remember in your heart of hearts what you did. But there is a difference between being unhappy because the mistake happened and you feel pressure to be perfect and you're just suddenly being haunted by reality and actually being unhappy with the results of that mistake. I'm still learning how to tell the difference, but most of the time I find that what I really need to do is not throw anything out or brute force my way through to a definitive fix, but just slowly and gently move forward. Stack up things that I'm pleased with until all my focus is on them and I can let go of that one thing that didn't turn out right. And spoiler, Naomi doesn't actually know where that little spot of paint landed anymore. It did not follow her through all of eternity because in my experience, most things don't. So be gentle with yourself and have fun making your slightly improved perfect things. Moving on to the final step, which is almost exactly the same as the very first step that I totally skipped over talking about, just do it. You're so close. There really isn't anything to do but just take the final leaps and figure out where you land. Naomi decided that her final leap was to take her beautifully intricate lines and turn them into beautifully intricate wings by sticking a dragon right in the middle. And if that isn't the gutsiest, most magical thing to watch, I just kept drawing leaves all the way around the bottom. And yes, my hand did get tired. And no, I didn't know how to stop once I started. And yes, it did take much longer than anticipated. When I was all finished, Naomi had been finished for hours. And I took a step back and realized the, the top. <laughs> there was nothing on the top. I didn't like how far down you had to look to get to any of the decorations. So I added more dots and more leaves because I mean, looking down is just, anyway, the vortex opened back up and this did technically push me past midnight, but everything turned out just fine. And you're gonna walk toward the house, but the bushes are very interesting to you. Wow, such bush. Clearing contest with the bush. <laughs> now, turn around and look at me like I made a joke. Get back here! <laughs> <laughs> you're going to just turn with your head like you know a secret and nobody else does. The sky up there, you like it. The sky over there, you like it. That cloud makes it a joke. It was a bad joke though. <laughs> 
the bush just insulted your mother. Face camera and act like dad just told you you're taking some graduation photos. <laughs> you could have so many funny faces.